Uh, Cohen, in your sentencing statement to the court in, De in December of last year, you said, I want to apologize to the people of the United States. You deserve to know the truth. Approximately a month later, BuzzFeed News ran a story that was the story in the country for a couple days. BuzzFeed story ran January 17th, 2019. On January 18th, your counsel went on TV and wouldn't confirm or deny the story. The next day, the special counsel's office did something that's never happened. Never happened. They said the description of specific statements to the special counsel's office and the characterization of documents and testimony obtained by this office regarding Michael Cohen's congressional testimony are not accurate. Why didn't your lawyer, the day that he's on TV, when this story is the biggest thing in the news in the country, why didn't he deny the BuzzFeed story? Because I didn't think it was his responsibility to do that. We are not the fact checkers for BuzzFeed. He's or on TV to talk about the very story you committed to the sir. court when you were trying to get your sentence reduced, that, you, that the American people deserve to know the truth. You had the golden opportunity to give them the truth on a false story, the BuzzFeed story, and your lawyer didn't say a thing. He actually, actually, he said this, I can't confirm, I can't deny. You had an opportunity to do exactly what you told the judge you were going to do one month after you said it, and you didn't do it. Why not? Again, it wasn't our responsibility to be the fact checker for the news agencies this is the there. Story sir, in the country. Sir, please, let me. The president says so far approximately well, let me just say nine one thing thousand. And then I'll let you finish. I, I got eight you seconds. Asked, I got eight uh, seconds. I'll let you finish. Cha chairman, may I please finish? The special finish? counsel chairman, said can I please finish? something they've never done. They said that sure. story was false. Now okay. you can respond. Okay. My response. The president has told something over 9,000 lies to date. Do I ask Mr. Davis or Mr. Monaco, or do I go on television in order to correct his mistakes? When Mr. The Davis answer, goes on sir, to talk the answer about is that no. specific subject, the you answer should. Is no. And I, I, I would like the to gentleman's time has Listen up. The gentleman's time has expired. You may finish answering the question, and then we're going to go to Mr. Connolly. All I wanted to say is I just find it interesting, sir, that between yourself and your colleagues, that not one question so far since I'm here has been asked about President Trump. That's actually why I thought I was coming today. Not to, not to confess the mistakes that I've made. I've already done that. And I'll do it again every time you ask me about taxes or mistakes. Yes, I made my mistakes. I'll say it now again. And I'm going to pay the ultimate price. But I'm not here today, and the American people don't care about my taxes. They want to know what it is that I know about Mr. Trump, and not one question so far has been asked about Mr. Trump. Mr. Connolly.